Welcome back then to part 1A, subsection C, category, now come on. All we're doing here is having a little rationalisation of what we're going to do for step 2, because we need to just have a look at what we're going to do next, if we're smart. Because we don't want to make a mistake when we've got a heavy piece of metal and it's an awkward shaped piece of metal called the mount head so in this case a six class mount it's quite heavy and it, it is quite heavy if you lift it carefully then anyone can do this but here's your problem you've got to lift that onto there and there's that peg sticking up, the north peg. So that needs to be considered. And that O in the middle, the hull, the centre boss, that needs to be considered. And if we have a look at the bottom sole plate, this is what I want you to be aware of. These adjusters that shift the mount head left and right when you come to polar align it they need to be out the way because you might find that when you store your mount head that you'd be inclined to snug those up to fit him away and then when you go and pop your mount head on your tripod they'll impinge on that north peg that's very dangerous because when you come to do up that centre boss that thing could easily wobble off and there's a there's considerable weight there and we do not want that it will hurt your pocket and your toe so handily that's lost focus is that back there we are so without labouring that point too much make sure that your step one tripod is all nice and secure and you've got it north and level ish and that you can rumbly tum tums i think it's time for toast and make sure that you've got that arrangement and you have and then you're going to bend the knees and we'll show that in the next step bend the knees hoist the mount head onto the tripod and you'll see that in step two so no dramas but just make sure you're not impinging that sticky up thing rest of the items in that bag the round donut is a counterweight the silver shaft bar is the where that counterweight will sit on and it's got a toe saver very important here don't leave home without that shiny part on the end if you fit a counterweight you must have a toe saver ignore that thing at the end that's a, uh, an extra that comes with this mount power cable because it's an electrified mount Ooh, the handset rather wonderful computer in there and that's its curly cable so we know we've got all the parts and that yellow blob is a battery so we know we've got all the parts we know they're quite heavy we know we've got to be a bit careful lifting it and we also know that we don't want any mistakes with those little knob things turned in too far right that's our preparation i'll see you this afternoon and we'll get set up for step two which includes polar aligning so we need some stars right have a good one. See you later.